Hello, welcome back to the land of Armello, where we're going to be looking at this game in early access once again. Today we're going to try something a bit different. Uh, we're going to be playing Mercurio. Hopefully this time we don't just go for spirit stones and then end up getting prestige like I've noticed we've done every other time. Uh, it just, I don't know, it does seem like the general way people are going to be playing the game. And I just think there might be better ways to go about it, or at least more interesting ways. Today we're going to be actually using Curios in a natural wits and increasing his fighting during the game and as our bonus to try and get the Kingslayer one. Uh, it's one I've never actually gone for before properly, but I think because it's so hard to get in the palace, we pick one with high wits and then just improve his fighting, we might actually get to do it. And especially if we go from it from the start. Um, rather than waiting until we've only got like two or three turns left and not being able to get there. So, that's what we're doing this game. Let's have a look at night, game scout across all sediments, training out tiles. I don't really know what scout does to be honest, but we'll, we'll go for it, we'll find out. Because that stealth in towns uh, day and night doesn't really help our cause. As I said, we're going to be going for the game one fight. So we'll have five fight, uh, four health, I believe, and five uh, wits. I'm not going to have uh, much magic, but um, I don't. I don't think we'll be using spells that much. I think we'll mainly be saving them to pass the perils of the palace to get through to fight the king, which I've never, I haven't done yet. So I'm interested to see how strong this king actually is. Okay, so let's begin. the first day. Okay, so it looks like Sana has picked up the prestige token that I earned for us. First stop, you have to go into the marsh. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, let's see what items we got first up. I can already see we got the trusty shield, so we'll pop him on. We have regeneration, spell, uh, mirror image, banish, and plus two health item. So, what we want to do is... So he's got 8 fight, the king, Jesus. Okay, so we're really going to want to suit up, basically. Um, we'll go do the quest, because it's pretty much the only thing we can reach at this point that's worth getting. I mean, the towns for Mercurio, you're better off getting the towns uh, once someone else already has them, because then you steal the gold off them. So look, um, let's say just okay, test fight. So we're going to test their fight. Sorry for not reading them. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was adding anything to the game, and no one's let me know in the comments whether or not they liked it yet. So I'm not going to keep doing it unless it's actually worth doing. Throwing axe, it's nice. Basically, I want to try and speed up the, the sp um, these videos rather than doing really long ones that. That people have to dedicate a lot of time to. I'm just going to do a, uh, try and do a bit of a rush one. Not like super rush, that's uncomfortable, but um, basically just play through it regularly like I, I normally would so you can see what gameplay is actually like. So let's just carry on with this. Anyway, it, it is, it's nice to be recording when the shot site's actually live. It's, it's different. Knowing, because uh, it's actually in your mind now that, oh shit, this is actually going up. It's not like I'm recording and I'm not going to do anything with it. It's like, no, this is actually going up in a, a few days to a week, depending on how long it takes me to edit, space out the uploads. Which, by the way, how long does it take to upload? In 2015, on the biggest file share, like, video sharing site there is, we have shitty upload speed. I don't know if that's just because Australia has shitty upload speed in general, or what do you got? Or if it, YouTube really, really is that bad, but yeah, it's it certainly takes a long time to put anything up. Do we really want to take him on? Seven fight is the boost at night. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. 
I may lose prestige, I'm not that fussed about prestige to be honest. Switch. I do like it gives you that um, in brackets. I'm curious to know whether or not they, and I have a suspicion that they may... Ooh, Berserker. I don't know if I want the Berserker though, he's not that great to be honest. Um, I do like to get my shields. <laughs> I'd say cards burn though, but still, like if I, I sometimes I do like to guarantee a shield over an attack. Because uh, even when you kill the king, you have to survive it. Um, this might deter him a little bit. So, yeah, uh, so you have a suspicion that maybe in the final release of the game, they will get rid of that suggestion, that, I mean, that telling you it's testing your wits. This is just a guess of mine, that I think maybe they have it because it's in early access and they want to make the game easy and accessible and consistent, so it tells you what each one does. But I have a feeling that when it's full released, they won't want to do that. They'll just give you the scenario to make you more engaged with what's actually going on. And you have to decide, oh, which one will test my wits, which one will do this and that, and have more, get more of a feel for it. Because that way you're actually reading the quest. Because as you see now, since I've played it a few times, I'm tired of reading these like stories behind the quests and I'm purely just going okay well that's gonna test this that's gonna test that that's my highest stat I'll go with that so I don't know maybe they'll, maybe that's what they like maybe they want to make it so you don't have to read them if you don't want but we'll see we'll see when it finally comes out tax yeah oh, it's paying taxes It's hard to know how well we're doing, though I'm not actually going for anything other than strength. Um, I suppose poorly if you want to look at it that way, because we don't have found any more items. <clears throat> I could go back and get her settlement, but uh, I think I'd rather go into the dungeon, to be honest. Hopefully get an item. Oh, treasure! There we go, that's the one we want. That's an amazing item. No cost too, for those, just to remind those who are unaware. That one, whenever we miss due to rolling the sun or the moon, so say if we roll a moon during the day or a sun during the night, it would normally just be a miss, count like a worm. But this shield would make it count as a shield, so it's it, give, it removes one of the misses. It gets you more likely to get useful uh, items, basically. Um, where do I want to go, actually? If I move to the stone circle, then I can go to that dungeon next. I know you can keep going between dungeons, but I have the suspicion that once a person gets a reward, a certain thing out of the dungeon, it's removed from possibility, and it's either a miss or one of the others is still left in there. So it's actually increasing my chance of finding a bane if I keep doing back and forth to the same dungeon. So I'm going to go across to other dungeons, going through stone circles, hopefully getting that um that random pop-up that comes up sometimes that lets you pick items basically or like what you want like some sort of treasure just from going to a stone circle we also might as well go towards that um, settlement and quest while we're around here I'll start using my cards too so I can pull some new ones I don't really want to open Berserker though. Okay, okay night time. Gonna go up and down. And move it. Oh, I don't have rain. Nope. Nothing. Zero zip nada. That was a waste of a turn. My health to get See, I'm wondering. <clears throat> See, with the spirits that one, we always try to rush to get in there as quickly as possible, but maybe it is best to bide our time just lurking around the edges of the palace and going in with only a few turns left, because that way we only have to hit the king a few times to kill him. So maybe that's the advantage of waiting it out. Because if I get, went in there straight away, not only would I not have as much gear, um, the king has more health, so I have to hit him more to kill him. 
So if I wait because I'm like two or three health, and I get in there, I have to hit him two or three times for him to die. Actually, that mirror image is a good one to keep for when I do fight the king to knock down his fight a little bit because he's got a pretty good fight. Well, pretty good. He's got an amazing fight, really. So eight dice he's gonna roll. Ugh. Any spells to use on him? Yeah. Get out of my hood. Can't afford it. Oh. Oh. Well. Over the mountain we go. Oh, the king's card is there. I didn't even realize. <sighs> oh, I think that's just how I want to keep her image. Well, we'll take our chances in the fight with Amber. I don't think she's got any items yet. <coughs> <coughs> Should check the full fight. She, oh, plus one sword. Ah, that's right. I count that my plus one. So we're going to burn the berserker because I don't want him. Um. Yeah, we're gonna burn regeneration because I don't have any. I don't have any enough magic to use it anyway. And also, I don't, considering I'm not going for prestige, it doesn't really matter if I start dying to get my health back. Like, yeah, I think we're gonna go all out. We're not gonna do the half half kind of thing where, um. where we try to maintain our prestige. Like, actively try and maintain our prestige throughout the game while doing another objective. I think. We are actually just going to to just play to get strong enough to fight the king. Or assassinate him as a little rat in his chambers. Okay, and ten. Oh no. Entering peril. Questing. Six gold. Jesus Christ. Good quest. Those kings guard are quite annoying because you don't want to fight them because a they're strong. B it's a negative thing to do that. I suppose if you don't have prestige, it's not as much of a negative, but still. Um, but then they just take up spaces you want to go to or through. <laughs> Okay, items, that's what we want. We want to get strong. Get a hot rot wine, that's decent. Play on this here. Ah! Give me equipables! Okay. What about it? Okay, well. Where are we? I don't, so stealth, I don't know where I am. Oh, stupid King's Guards. I'll go to the dungeon, whatever. It's guarding the bloody settlement from me. Swear to God, if I get four spirit stains, I'm not even going for them. Oh man, I can so see that happening. Jeep. Jeep. What does the scout actually do? I honestly do not know what scouting does. You know what, I'm going to banish myself. Aw, oh, yeah, forgot it doesn't actually activate the dungeon when you land on it from banishment. I was wishing it did. So it's like you could banish yourself, go to a dungeon, and then search it. Like, so that way, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of cards. Cleansing wow. Why did he take Thane's rod off him? Why the hell would you do that? Ah, maybe it's an example of of um of the, the AI failing a little bit, just doing things because it's told to do stuff. Um, I really do want to play this with people. So yeah, if if you want to play the game with me, um and whether you want to record or not, like you can tell me not to record, you can say, oh yeah, I want to be in one of your videos. Then I'm really happy for us to do that. Like, um, yeah, just, I'll, I'll play multiplayer, see what it's like. But I'm 
quite interested in doing that, seeing how it feels with people instead of AI. So you just, just hit me up, put it in the comments, um, I'll respond. The king is starting to lose health, so I do... Oh, that's a good one for getting into the palace. And just a reminder that once this is full, you might not be able to take things off, but you can put other stuff on top of them. So it's, it's not, we're not completely burned. Uh, Alright, I've still got four gold, I'll just go for the... I don't need magic! <laughs> Stop! We're gonna use the hot rhyme, what? That hot rot wine. Gives us two moves so we can get into the settlement. And then we're gonna heal ourselves. Hey -o. Combos! <laughs> Uh, this way we should, because we use a fair few cards as well, we should get some new fresh ones, hopefully get some better equipment. I mean, the ones we got aren't bad, but I don't think they're strong enough to kill the king. I mean, just having one shield, plus, sorry, the possibility of getting more shields, and then a good way to get into the powers. Or a slight hope to get into the powers, I should say. Actually, to think about it, how many shields that we can get from rolling, I probably should have kept the Berserker. <laughs> <laughs> because I can just roll for my shields and burn for my attacks, that would have been smarter. Oh well. Live in there. Live in there. It's not too much health the king's got. Items, all items. I wish we get some trickery actually, but oh well. In battle and attacking gain two swords? Yes, please. Defending gain two swords? No, I don't want that one. Because I spend, uh, tend to be the aggressor. Two swords is better than one shield, I would say. Especially since I got the royal shield, so I, shield, I don't really need the other one. Um, I do want to keep that. But I do want to have a backup item to swap it out once I'm inside the palace. Um, I still got two, four, five, five turns, or four and a half really, because we're at the end of one cycle. Can I get to a dungeon? I can get back to that one. Get to the stone circle or settlement as well. I do kind of need to start getting some money. We are going to go back to the dungeon though, because I'm liking them so far. Screw you! Just as I said I was liking you. Okay, now I'm in the next day, I think I'm going to go through the stone circle to that settlement. Hey! Hey! Not very nice. Got a bane. That sounds like a tank. I'm not sure what to do with Sana really. I mean, Spirit Stone jumps to mind, but you have to find them. You can't just magic them. So I don't know what a spell cast. There's no real advantage to being a spellcaster in this game, really. Like you don't gain. You gain more from killing them with combat than you do killing them with spells. Is that me? I honestly don't know. I don't think it's ever been me. <laughs> I always have... Oh, maybe it was me. I don't think I had two throwing axes. Alright, um... Let's see, yeah, I just needed that pack-up item. Um, I could go through town. 
Yeah, because I'm liking this little spot. So I'll go to town. Get the gold. Go to the stone circle to heal up and hopefully set off that. Hey, no. I don't know how that thing's meant to get set off, but anyway. We're going to end it there, that turn. Uh, that is not the video. <laughs> Corrupted. Alright, can we take it back? I guess he's being more intense to get more gold of you. Problem is, if Th if Thane wins because he's got all this prestige, then we're just replacing one corrupted king for another. By corrupted, I mean like corrupted with a rot. So he's just gonna die soon himself. <laughs> I make that a thing, like, if you're corrupted, you can't get prestige victory. Because otherwise there's no real disadvantage to just racking up rot once you get one point of it. Because it only, still only takes one life off you, I think. For having rot. Blech. I'm glad I got out of that side of the board, which is dang infested. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I don't really want to fight a Bane at night. I'm not really confident. I suppose if I'm not confident to kill a Bane, I gotta be confident to kill a King, but I really don't want to risk picking up Rot because I need to be full health when I fight the King. I suppose I have two throwing axes that could kill the thing that way. Either way. Attack! It should tell you, don't just tell me minus one, three, so still time, still time. Oh, that's all my gold. <laughs> oh, two of the people died from it. It's because I stole his gold. <laughs> Stone circle. I hope it sets off that thing. It did not. So that was pointless. Right, I don't really have anywhere else to go in that vicinity. I don't want to stick around Thane spawn. There's no point going to my own settlement either. See, I want a variety of cards, that's another problem. Because when you go through perils, it's best to have a, a wide spread because you need to get one of each of different things. I suppose I'm going to roll six dice for it, so should have a good chance of getting them, as long as I burn a couple. But there's always the risk that you burn the wrong one, like you burn a sword and then you roll three swords. But okay, yeah, I'm really going to start pushing into him now, um, whether I feel like I'm ready or not, because two turns is not a lot when you got to go through perils and everything. Probably should have tried to get in there earlier, I might have left my run a bit late. As I always do. As I always do. I get stuck playing the game. Like, just doing the gradual build up when it's. It seems like it is, but it's turning out to really not be a gradual game. You've got to really push for what you want to do. Now, back myself into a corner here. I've got mountains and king's guys everywhere. So we're gonna go up the mountain and down to there, and that's where we're going to stay for now. And I 
One thing, good thing about leaving it this late though, is that the king is quite weak. Does he have three health left? Yeah, so we have two written come the morning, and that's when I'll enter the palace. So I still have the battle axe to equip once I get past the herald. I wonder, did that pearl? No, that pearl's fair. I'm sure that pearl's fair. Oh, why am I not following people? I'm sure you guys like to see what's going on. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, considering I'm about to do that anyway by entering the palace. Oh no, but they go first, he's gonna attack me! Oh no, he's not. Do they Oh! Oh, way! <laughs> I wanna fight the king, not you. Where's I can burn something? Yeah, I won't draw cards in time. Oh yeah, whoops, it's my 10 -ish. Burn you! Bro! I need more shields. Yeah, good. Take that, King's card. Motherfucker. Okay, I'm gonna buy a trickery deck. Just gonna be, just hopefully, just yeah, spread the um the symbols a bit more. Okay. So let's move into the palace. Yes, into the palace. Try and pick this peril for once. Okay, we have a moon. We have a sword. We have a sun. So now we have three chances to get a shield. Please, 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 please. Yes, we did it! We finally entered the palace! Oh, glorious days! But we burnt the card I was going to use. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh well, oh well, it's worth it. It is worth it. I don't care if I would have gone it without it. Um, it just made it seem easier. Okay, we are going to equip. Imperils, King One, die. So we don't need that anymore. We do need the battle axe will help us. I don't think I can use that on the king. Even if I could, I don't know if it would count as a win. So we're just going to go and attack the king. Attack the king. Why can't I attack the king? Oh, I have no more moves! I'll have to attack him at night. It's the king's guy don't slaughter me first. God damn it! This is make this so difficult. I suppose it should be difficult to get to a king and fight him, but... I don't know, it just... It doesn't seem worth it to me to do anything but go for prestige. It seems like the most surefire way to win. Because you're sure there, I was next to the palace. It removes all, it takes all of your movement to get in there, even if you're next to it. And then you have to go through a peril, burn all your cards and crap. Um, and then you're just, just sitting dark for the king's guard to, to attack you. You have to survive two of those by the look of it. And then fight the king on top of that who has eight fight. And survive that somehow. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna grab an item, spell, trickery. Let's see what we got. Oh, I can't. It's, let me see what I got before I decide what else to get. Go another spell, I guess. Whatever. Okay, in battle, minus one fat two shields. Don't really want that. Scout. Next turn. Vanish. Vanish. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Let's fight the king. Oh, we have seriously we're fighting the king. Oh, this has never happened to me. I'm gonna burn every card. I swear. Okay, that's a good one to burn. Uh, fire. Let's burn shield, sword. I'm burning everything. Okay. 
Oh, actually, I think we might have won this. I think we've done it. Mercurio the Kingslayer! Is that it? Is that seriously the victory? Oh my god! We have done it. We have got the Kingslayer victory. Mercurio, you awesome little rat. Oh man. Okay, oh, I'm so, so chuffed with that. I did not expect to actually pull that off. Okay, it's good the Kingslayer don't attack you straight away. You do get to go before them, but whoa. Okay. So, we've seen how to do it. Um, basically, wait until. There's two or three turns left, so he's got low health. Although we did overclean by five, so just having high wits is definitely recommended if you're going to kill the king, I think, because not only does it let you get into the palace a lot easier, it gives you a lot of cards to burn when you're actually fighting the king, which is extremely important. As you saw there, we burn a whole bunch of attacks, trees, which give you an extra roll and everything, and even defense so we don't die in the process. Oh, well, I'm actually shaking a little bit. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, no, no, wow, that is awesome. Okay, so, Cure the Kingslayer. Okay, so, I normally would end it on the victory screen, but I'm going to check out with you in case you haven't seen it, because I certainly haven't seen it, um, what we get for that. So, select Curio. Um, we still have the same ring. Kingslayer 1. Guaranteed first symbol match on perils. Wow, that's actually really good. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what that means. It sounds really good though. Guaranteed first symbol match. Oh, so the first symbol in the, the row of symbols you need to match from Perils is already done for you. Uh, that's, that's what it sounds like. That's really good. Oh, I'm really happy with that. We actually got a Kingslayer victory. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. Um, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Then keep watching our Miller videos. Um, next video, we will be doing Sana to finish off our playthrough of each character but we probably will keep doing some more after that um, possibly some multiplayer ones some other variations so to show you what uh, how, um, else you can do but wow that was really enjoyable I gotta say um, it's nice to see that a game isn't just about getting prestige when you actually play it properly um, so that's gonna do it again thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye